Tuan Muhammad Khairuddin bin Osman. Good afternoon. Welcome to our session here. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Kenny Goh from uh, BAM, Secretary General. And Mr. May I call you Mr. Khairuddin? Sure, anytime. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you are the Executive <laughs> Counselor for Young Generation Sports and Human Capital Selangor. Exactly. And you are the official sponsor for the Badminton Asia Team Championship 2022. Thank All you right. very much for your support and of course to BAM for agreeing to host this tournament in Malaysia. <clears throat> Thank you. Now, today is the first day of the tournament. First of all, I would like to ask both of you, uh, what are your feelings and what is the general feeling uh, in Malaysia about this tournament hosting here? Mr. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, for us, uh, it's an honor having this uh, prestige game. Mm -hmm. uh, moreover, this is our first time uh, having this uh, badminton Asia during in our, our state. Mm -hmm. So, uh, of course, uh, we feel very good. Uh, this is the opportunity to rise back from the uh, sport stalemate, which uh, you know the uh, the current pandemic that hits us, hits everybody in the world, right? Mm -hmm. So by uh, at first when we received this uh, offer, we were I was excited actually. I was really excited. At the same time, uh, uh, keeps me worry of uh, how do I maintain the standard that we have in this uh, Asia tournament. But we take up the challenge. Mm -hmm. We take up the challenge. We manage uh, the SOP. Uh, we manage the, the, the venue. On, and then, uh, as we see today, it all went well. Good. Good. And, uh, <coughs> and from BAM side? Yeah, of course, from, for BAM, we, we are very excited because uh, the last time that we organized an event was back in January 2020. Mm -hmm. So it's almost more than two years now. And we are really glad that the Selangor State Government has given us this support and are willing to come in together with us in this partnership to organize this event. Uh, I believe this will be a good start, a kickstart to more events, uh, international events to be held in this country. So, yeah, we are excited and of course, we are very, very happy to be together with the Selangor State Government on this. Yes, uh, we, uh, we, we realized that the last time you hosted the team championship for Badminton Asia was in 2018 and that was in Kedah, in, right? And yet in this pandemic, Malaysia has stepped up and saying, OK, we'll host it in such short notice. What pushed you to agree to this proposal? I mean, what pushed you? It's not an easy time, especially with the album come, uh, spiking and all that, but what clicks the deal? For, for BAM and for Selangor to to support yeah. this? It, it, is a, it is a last moment uh, arrangement. We, mm -hmm. we did, uh, in fact, uh, the, the time that we receive offer is uh, only one week to uh, mm -hmm. a deadline. Yeah. But uh, we have a very supportive uh, Chief Minister and the ESCO member. Mm -hmm. I throw this idea to the members of the ESCO mm -hmm. and then uh, everybody is excited because uh, this is a national, international event. So, despite of uh, receiving within the short period of time, but I believe that we have a good team. We have a sport concert, state sport concert, and we believe in BAM. They are very supportive. So, this is the reason that we take up this challenge and let's go, let's move on. Yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really, what, what's, what's your opinion? Uh, of course, uh, as what uh, YB mentioned that uh, the Selangor State Government uh, took up the challenge with very much support from the chief minister and all the exco and of course uh, the other thing is uh, my president is also very visionary about this and i think he said why not we do it no it's it's going to be the first event after so many years after the pandemic so he said let's do this and and hopefully this will be a start for many more events to come for for badminton i think most of the fans uh, we realize that most of the fans are actually dying to uh, look at the action uh, that which they have missed for the last two years. So yeah, uh, I think, like I say, uh, thank you again really to YB's uh, vision and his leadership uh, and, and able to have this partnership. Yeah. Do you feel there's a certain hype in, in, in among the public in Malaysia towards this tournament? Is there increase in, in interest, increase in, in excitement uh, with, the, with the public? 
Yeah, uh, I think uh, I was told by the organizer that when we when they open up for the booking for the tickets, I think it was snap up within six minutes. <laughs> that's that's record time, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, I think I think there's a lot <coughs> of uh, expectation, a lot of hype. After all, badminton is quite a, a sport that Malaysian love generally. Yeah. Now that's the question I would like to ask. Since when ha has badminton, uh, the, the excitement or the interest in badminton grown in the last few years? Since when could you identify exactly or is it since Lee Chong Wei or is it before that? I mean, when has it started to grow okay, in Malaysia? Um, I think for, for, uh, for badminton uh, in Malaysia, uh, the interest has always been many, many years. Uh, we, we have uh, participated in Thomas Cup mm -hmm. back in the 50s. We have won we have won the Thomas Cup five times during the 50s and the 60s and of course the last time we won was in 1992 and uh, we have many legends in the past the Siddiq brothers before that was people like uh, uh, Tan Yi Kang and Ng Boon Bi all these have actually created a lot of uh, a lot of excitement of course lately then we have uh, Datuk Lee Chong Wei so yes badminton has always been traditionally uh, a strong sport and uh, People love badminton here generally. Uh, it's not a, it's not a sport that is uh, what you call um, something new, very new. But it's traditionally uh, most Malaysians love the sport. Yeah. There, it can be the growth can be stagnant, right, in terms of the badminton fans. But it also can be a, there's a, a, an increase, right? Now I like to know whether is that increase in the popularity of badminton in, 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 in terms of recruitment of younger players overall in the nation or only in certain states like maybe Selangor or maybe at which states you've noticed the growth of young players? Oh, okay. Uh, of course, recently uh, we had our, what you call our national TID, Talent Identification. Uh, and it's interesting to note that we find a lot of talents from all over the country. It's also interesting to note that uh, some non-traditional states like Kelantan and Terengganu beginning to have players in, in, the, in the TID. We had a TID for under 12 and under 13. So it's really interesting to see that uh, parents are beginning to willing to invest their time and money for their children to play this sport. So it, it is good. Of course, uh, Selangor remains to be the strongest states. Uh, they, they always send a lot of uh, young players to our TID program. But yeah, it's, it's good to see that the other states are also stepping up. Yeah. So, are you going to build like a certain state to be the badminton hub of the nation, of the country? Maybe Selangor? Are you going to build extra facilities, programs in that certain state so that state becomes the badminton hub of the country? Oh, okay. Uh, I think what we do here is we, we as the governing body, we will promote the sport. We will work with the states on how they, how we want, how they want to promote the sport. So, we we would not like to focus on one state alone, but we want to work and ensure all the states uh, will be able to provide the best players for our national team. Because at the end of the day, for us, the interest of the country or the interest of the nation is more important. <coughs> yeah. And. Mr. Khairuddin, what's your plan for Selangor then? I mean, when you hear that from yeah, Mr. I like, Kenny. I like to go back the uh, mm. what's the badminton in Selangor. I think uh, it is a traditional game for us. Mm. I can remember, I can recall since I was in the mm. primary school, we used to have uh, the, the wooden stick uh, oh. badminton. That was, uh, I don't know, Dato, it's, yeah. it's, it's our time. Yeah. The, we go the, to the school, racket. play. Yeah. And then I think, I believe the, uh, the players are created by two ways mm -hmm. is the interest of the person and the system uh, mm -hmm. created by BAM mm -hmm. uh, we we do in Malaysia we have a two system parliamentary system uh, they are the policy maker we are the implementer uh, implement whatever policies so uh, for state government uh, Selangor we will support for whatever good programs introduced by BAM mm -hmm. if required by you know all the uh, Previous legendary uh, badminton players from Selangor, the Miss family, the, the Sidik family is from Selangor. 
So naturally, Selangor, Selangorian, uh, they are... Have blood, they have, to blood. Yeah, yeah the spirit the is place. there. That's you good. can see the kids uh, play around. But the issue now is uh, how can the state uh, get hold of these people mm. to put in the system? And then uh, they are the governing body. They are, they, are, they are the one who give consent to whatever tournament. Uh, we open our door uh, to the BAM to look forward to how can we assist. We will, uh, by all means, will help BAM to create more players to come. So you have special uh, training or badminton skills that foster these young, uh, yeah. young players? Actually, for, for, for your information, what we do is in BAM, we start uh, taking in players mm -hmm. full-time at the age of 13 from boarding. the age of 13, yes, boarding. I they see. will stay in, eat, sleep, dream, hopefully dream about badminton as well. So, yeah, they start as early as 13 ah. and uh, it, it, it progresses until as long as they can. Uh, for example, Datu Lee Chong Wei mm. has been with the national team until the age of 30, mm. 38 years old. So, yes, as long as they can play and they can contribute, they'll be with us. So, we actually provide the 13th the 13 to the 17, we also provide them education. Mm -hmm. uh, they do IGCSE homeschooling. Mm -hmm. So, yes, these are some of the programs that we do, and we we really hope that we can churn more and more players to represent the country. It's very good. I'm. It's very nice talking to you and coming back again to the tournament. Tell. Tell us, everybody, what's our, who are your favorite players? That would be interesting. <laughs> who are you betting on? My home Malaysian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who are your favorite players? Our, even though Malaysian uh, move mm. out from our country, <laughs> really, but, but it is still Malaysia for us, for me. Yeah, like, yeah. Who do you have at this, you know, you know like oh, I'm betting for, for Aaron Chia and, and, or Pearly Tan, or who, who are you betting on? I wanted to mention that, but I'm afraid. So one question everybody's wanting to know that how is, you know, when it comes to team championships, it's about teamwork and spirit, team spirit, right? Yeah, yeah. The chemistry must be there. Yeah. So now, Li Zizia returning back to BAM, do you see the spirit there, the team spirit there? Yeah, Still? we hope so. Yeah, we hope so. Yeah, okay. uh, I think, uh, so far, he seems to be blending in quite well. Mm -hmm. uh, he has been training with the, with the team the last few days. Uh, we hope that we can do well in this team championship. Well, we, 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 everybody's, you know, I have all these DMs and, and comments from the, all the publics wishing for Malaysia to go. I mean, this is in Malaysia, you should win in Malaysia. Yes, so, uh, of course, I'm, we're also, Babington Nation also is hoping for other <laughs> countries, must be fair, yes, hoping yes. for for other other countries to uh, win as well too yeah. and do their best. So, yeah, yeah I think I think for me, uh, uh, sports is the uh, united game. Unifying, yes. uh, unifying people. Yes. Uh, you don't need to understand the games, but you need to see that this is my player. This yes. is our team. Yeah. But uh, most and foremost, I think uh, we should be open to learn from other countries yeah. also, yes. like Indonesia yourself. It's uh, forty <laughs> yeah. times. Uh, yeah. yeah, so uh, I think, uh, but for state government, uh, we will, uh, I'm willing, we are willing to learn from BAM, from other states also, for the sake of the sports. So if one day Malaysia, Mr. Kenny go here said, I want to host another time championship, would you be willing to sponsor again? We are ever willing to go for <laughs> sports. Yeah, That's are. most important, that you're yeah. still willing to, news. <laughs> to, to uh, be willing to back up BAM whenever they want to host yeah, another yeah, tournament. Yeah. So that's good news for you, Mr. Like, like yes. for this tournament, mm -hmm. like, like we are we having now, this is the time that I get close to Datuk Kenny. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right? this, is, uh, this is a good uh, event. Yeah. So uh, this is uh, the starting of the good relationship. I hope we can uh, move forward. For sure. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. I noticed that we're soon, there's soon, we're, there, the players are already entering the, uh, the court. So today, this evening, is Malaysia against India. India. Yeah. Yeah. So wishing all the best for Team Malaysia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, YB. Thank you, Lita. <laughs>